Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. We got a revamped version of an old model. This is the all new K2 Mindbender 89Ti. So this has taken the spot where the 90Ti used to be in the Mindbender line. Uh, some pretty nice upgrades to this ski. Kind of brings it a little bit more modern in terms of being able to carve really clean round turns, but also leaving it have that kind of free ride mentality to it. Uh, there are wider, much wider skis in this Mindbender lineup, so it's interesting to see how this narrower version, this narrower high-performance version kind of compares and uh, contrasts to those wider versions, but also how it kind of goes with the outgoing version of the ski. Uh, I think this one's a little bit better suited to on-trail skiing. They definitely kind of made some changes to the shape, shortened the turn radius, uh, beefed up the construction a little bit that makes it one of the best turners uh, for a ski like this and really just an awesome carving tool on the front side but with that more all mountain width and personality. We are still built with an aspen wood core. Uh, we do get a revamped uh, Titanal Y-beam in this ski so it, it just is more sophisticated than it used to be. Uh, it used to just kind of go straight uh, this Y shape here and now they've kind of bumped it into the middle here uh, right in the forebody of the ski. That's going to help with that turn initiation as well as dampen vibrations. Leaving the center portion, uh, you know, unencumbered by that metal really allows the ski to kind of twist a little bit. Helps with that torsional stiffness on the side without being too rugged or too burly. We get that full metal width underfoot and then that central spine uh, goes all the way, pretty much all the way to the tail. And then more of a bump out, so a little bulbous area here in the back. It used to just be straight. Now we get more metal in the tail here. Uh, again, vibration damping, edge control, and keeping that thing really glued to the snow is, is uh, you know, one of the priorities there from K2. Uh, without having it be full metal, really rugged, really, you know, kind of stiff and burly. Uh, it does really make this ski feel like a high performance model. You can flex it, it's not overly stiff, so you can access the entirety of that, of that side cut. Uh, which they have reduced. So dropping that turn radius, now we're looking at a 16.8, 16.6 meters uh, in the 182 centimeter length, which is pretty short. Uh, you know, it's kind of in that Brahma 88 range, which we really like for that 88, 90 all mountain ski uh, for, for sharp turning capabilities. You know, it definitely has that ability to, to break free and be loose. Most of that is due to a more dramatic rocker profile than what we saw in the outgoing 90. Um, but before we get to that, we can also look at the sidewall here. So we used to have the power wall sidewall, which was just a beefed up piece of material uh, underfoot. And then they've gone from that to just a full sidewall. So full sandwich sidewall laminate all the way throughout. Uh, really kind of gives it that more on trail, more front side personality better edge grip, really great rebound, good stability as well. So those are some of those upgrades that we see in this. Uh, and then that rocker profile has changed as well. So more specifically in the tail, we see differences. Uh, we still get that camber underfoot, which is great. Uh, you know, tip rocker, I would say, is more similar to what it used to be. Uh, you know, a little bit different with that wider shovel. So just a tad bit more taper, but not a ton. Uh, but the tail is where we see the biggest difference. The old, the outgoing 90 Ti had shorter tail rocker with more abrupt splay. This has longer and smoother tail rocker. So the distance of the rocker is longer, but the splay is not quite as much. Uh, so that does a few things. One, it makes this thing feel a lot smoother because you have more uh, consistent edge contact with the snow from tip to tail. So it makes a lot of sense from a groomer style format. And then when you're in softer snow, it just makes it feel a little less hooky. So not only does this make it a smoother carver, but also kind of helps in that softer snow. But definitely likes to come around due to that shorter turn radius and a really nice upgrade overall from this ski over the 90, which we've always really liked, but definitely a different, different style of ski with this new 89 Ti, a little bit more front side oriented without giving up too much of that versatility that we really liked about the 90. So make sure you check out this K2 Mindbender 89Ti here at SkiEssentials.com and we will see you out there on the hill. Bye!